Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the objective type question and answer from the topic uh, Smith chart. Okay, so from the subject uh, transmission lines and RF system and transmission lines and waveguides. So already I posted uh, the several videos for this subject. If you want to learn the remaining uh, MCQ videos, I will give link in the description box. You can see or in my channel, there is a separate playlist is created for this uh, transmission lines and waveguides MCQ, uh, then uh, signals and system MCQ, DSP MCQ, uh, and uh, electronic circuits MCQ are there. Okay, so you can see. So we will see the thing. Uh, first one, the Smith chart is a polar chart, uh, which plots dash. Okay, so Smith chart, it is nothing bad. Uh, so the four option is given the reflection coefficient versus impedance, reflection coefficient versus normalized impedance, transmission coefficient versus impedance, transmission coefficient versus normalized impedance. The Smith chart, it's a polar chart which plots the reflection coefficient versus normalized impedance. The normalized impedance means it's a ratio of uh, the load impedance divided by the characteristics impedance. It is called as a normalized impedance. Okay, so Smith chart, it's a frequency domain plot. It's a polar chart of reflection coefficient R with respect to normalized impedance. Okay, then the next thing, the Smith chart is a graphical technique used in the scenario of transmission line. It's a true or false, it's a true. So the Smith chart, it's a graphical technique in order to find out the various values in a transmission line. So using this Smith chart, we may calculate our reflection coefficient, standing wave ratio, then impedance matching, uh, we can do using this Smith chart, okay. Then the next thing, uh, Smith chart is based on polar plot of dash. So the Smith chart is based on the polar plot of uh, voltage reflection coefficient. Okay, so the reflection coefficient R or uh, this eta, is plotted in the Smith chart. Then the next thing, any passively realizable reflection coefficient can be plotted as a unique point on the Smith chart. This statement implies that dash. Okay, so any passively realizable reflection coefficient can be plotted as a unique point on the Smith chart. This statement implies what? Okay. Uh, that is a, so the four option is given. One is the reflection coefficient less than or equal to one can be plotted. Reflection coefficient greater than or equal to one can be plotted. Transmission coefficient has to be less than or equal to one for the point to be located. Okay. Uh, so which one means, uh, you know, the reflection coefficient value, it is uh, less than or equal to one. Okay. That is plotted in the Smith chart. So, you know, the reflection coefficient, it is defined as it's a ratio of reflected voltage, uh, reflected voltage or current to the incident voltage or current. So the reflection coefficient value is always less than or equal to one. Okay, the minimum value is zero, the maximum value of reflection coefficient is one. Okay, so that's why only the reflection coefficient less than or equal to one can be plotted in a Smith chart. Then the next thing, the Smith chart consists of uh, uh, the dash, constant R and variable S circle, variable R and constant X circle, constant R and constant X circle, variable R and variable X circle. The Smith chart, it uh, consists of, it is a superposition of the two circles, one is resistance circle, another one is X, reactant circle. So the both the thing is a constant. Okay, so it's a, the Smith chart consists of constant resistance circle and a constant reactant circle. Okay, so that's why the impedance, it can be combinedly called as R plus JX. Okay, R plus JX. Then the next thing, Smith chart can be used to determine dash. Okay, so using Smith chart, uh, what are all the uh, thing, what are the parameter we can determine means uh, the SWR, the standing wave ratio for any given transmission line load mismatch, we can calculate the magnitude and angle of reflection coefficient, the reflection coefficient value we may calculate using the Smith chart. Then the length of short-circuited transmission line section, 
of known characteristics impedance to provide the desired input impedance okay uh, all of the above so all of the above we can do so using smith chart we may calculate uh, the standing wave ratio uh, reflection coefficient uh, then uh, we may determine the length of the uh, stub okay this is used for impedance matching purpose so in a transmission line so what about the length of the stub and what is the position of stub we may determine okay so all of the above is the answer then the next one the arc circle the arcs of circle on smith chart represent dash okay so in a smith chart there are uh, two circle is there so the arc of circle on smith chart represents normalized reactance or susceptance the arc of circle uh, it indicates the normalized reactance or susceptance the next thing to get an admittance chart okay to get an admittance chart from an impedance chart what we have to do so the smith chart has to be rotated by 90 degree smith chart has to be rotated by 180 degree admittance chart cannot be obtained from the impedance chart none of the mention so in order to get the admittance chart from impedance chart we have to rotate the smith chart by 180 degree so the impedance so you see uh, why we have to shift to 180 degree means the impedance and admittance parameters are both are reciprocal of each other okay already you know the impedance is it is nothing but it's a reciprocal of y similarly the admittance y is nothing but it's a reciprocal of z so hence once uh, one chart can be obtained from other chart so by rotating the impedance chart by an angle of 180 degree we can obtain the admittance chart okay uh, then the next thing the circles in smith chart pass through which point okay so the circles in smith chart it pass through which point 0 1 0, minus 1 minus 1, 0 1, 1, 1 0 so there are uh, uh, many circles in a smith chart is that so the circles pass through which point means 1, 0 so all constant resistance and reactant circle in the smith chart pass through the point 1, 0 okay so this 1, 0 is the midpoint of the smith chart where the resistance is this 1, 0 it indicates one is resistance value the zero indicates the reactance value okay so this is the midpoint of the smith chart 1, 0 the next thing moving towards the clockwise direction in a smith chart implies moving dash okay so in the smith chart while measuring or while marking something if you are moving towards in clockwise direction okay moving towards in clockwise direction in smith chart it indicates moving towards the generator okay uh, that is on moving towards clockwise direction in smith chart we are transversing towards the generator so this is used to calculate the normalized load impedance then the next thing the constant x circle or smith chart become smaller due to increase in the value of x from dash okay so the constant uh, that x circle of smith chart becomes smaller and smaller with the increase in value uh, of x from dash to dash if the x is increased from 0 to infinity the constant x circle it becomes smaller and smaller then the next thing according to smith diagram where should be the position of reflection coefficient value for a unity circle with unity radius okay so according to smith diagram uh, where should be the position of a reflection coefficient for a unity circle with a unity radius okay if the radius is r equal to 1 and unity circle so where the reflection coefficient position okay on or inside the circle okay inside the circle that a reflection coefficient is positioned then the next thing the center of point having normalized resistance of 1.2 ohms and the reactance x of 1.4 ohm is dash okay so the center of point of a smith chart is calculated by the center point c is calculated by 
that is uh, r divided by 1 plus r comma 0 okay this is the center point of smith chart where r is the resistance normalized resistance value so here the normalized resistance value is given as 1.2 ohm reactant is 1.5 ohm so if you are substituting r value here 1.2 divided by 1 plus 1.2 so we will get the answer is 0 0.54 comma 0. So 0 0.54 comma 0 is the center point of this particular location. Uh, the next thing, the radius of point having the normalized resistance of 1 ohm is dash. Okay. So if the normalized resistance value, the R value equal to 1 ohms means what is the radius of the particular point? Okay, so the radius is calculated by R equal to 1 divided by R plus 1. Okay, so where R is the normalized resistance. So you just substitute the normalized resistance value here. So 1 divided by 1 plus 1, 1 by 2, it's a 0.5. So the radius of the particular point is 0 0.5. Uh, then the next thing, the normalized load impedance of transmission line is 50 ohm with a load of uh, 30 ohm is dash okay so the normalized uh, load impedance of the transmission line 50 ohm so the 50 ohm is nothing but characteristics impedance so 50 ohm transmission line means the 50 ohm indicates the characteristics impedance z not and the load impedance is at l is 30 ohms so the question is that normalized load impedance so already you know the normalized load impedance is nothing but it is calculated by dividing the impedance with characteristics impedance. Okay, that is a, we have to divide uh, the load impedance divided by the characteristics impedance means we will get the normalized impedance. So 30 divided by 50. So 30 divided by 50. So we, uh, we will get 3 divided by 5. It's a normalized load impedance. Uh, the next thing, the Smith chart is obtained by superposition of two set of constant x orthogonal circles and the constant r orthogonal circles it's a true or false it's a true okay in smith chart there is a two set of circles okay one is constant x circle another one is constant r circle so the superposition of uh, this two set of circle it indicates the smith chart the next thing the center and the radius of a line with normalized load impedance is 1 plus 0 0.5 j is dash. So if the normalized load impedance value is 1 plus 0.5 j means what is the center point and radius? Okay, so the center point uh, already you know. So what is the center point? The center point is nothing but 1 comma 1 divided by x. Okay, so where and uh, this 1 divided by x, x is a reactance value. So we have to substitute. So 1 divided by 0.5. So we may get it as a 2. So the center point is 1 comma 2. Then the radius is, the radius is equal to this r value equal to 2. So the answer is 1 comma 2 and the radius is r. Okay, then the next thing. Uh, if the quarter line is short circuited okay so the quarter wave transformer we discussed in the previous video so the quarter line is short circuited then it is acts as a dash if the quarter wave line uh, transmission line is short circuited means it acts as a insulator okay while is in short circuited position the quarter line it is acting as a insulator then the next thing after what wavelength does the nature of graph get reversed for the input impedance of open circuited line? Okay, so after what wavelength the graph get reversed for the input impedance of open circuited line? So after the lambda by two wavelength, uh, that input impedance of open circuited line is reversed. The next thing, what is the phase variation range of reflection coefficient in the transmission line? So the phase variation, the reflection coefficient, uh, eta, r, r, uh, the phase variation value is, it is 0 to 180 degree. Okay, the phase variation is, it varies from 0 to 180 degree. Then the next thing, which 
lossless element is inserted between the source and load in addition to an ideal transformer in order to reduce the effect of reflection loss phenomena by image matching okay so which lossless element we have to insert between source and load in addition to ideal transformer in order to reduce the reflection loss means it is a phase shifter so we have to introduce phase shifter in addition with the transformer we may reduce the effect of reflection loss then the next thing the normalized impedance of 0.3 plus j 0.4 lies in the dash so if you are plotting the 0.3 plus j 0.4 in a smith chart means that uh, this point is placed in the upper half of the impedance smith chart okay that is r plus j x means that points appeared on the upper half of the impedance chart uh, instead of this r minus j means that point is appeared on the lower half of the impedance chart and the next thing the normalized impedance 1 minus j so here the r value is 1 and uh, the x value is minus okay negative value so that's why this impedance is appears on the lower half of the impedance chart in impedance are in lower half this point we have to mark the next one if a transmission line of the characteristic impedance is 100 ohms is terminated with a load of 300 plus j 200 ohm then the normalized load impedance is dash so here the question is uh, the characteristic impedance is at not is given as a 100 ohm and the load impedance uh, this 300 plus j 200 is a load impedance the question is normalized load impedance so already you, you know the formula for normalized load impedance what is normalized load impedance the small is at l it is equal to the load impedance divided by characteristic impedance so 300 plus j 200 divided by 100 so we may get 3 plus 2j so 3 plus 2j is the normalized load impedance value okay so this point we have to mark in a smith chart the next thing if the normalized load impedance of transmission line is 0.3 minus j 0.4 with a characteristic impedance is 50 then load impedance is what okay in this question in the previous question the load impedance value and the characteristic impedance value given uh, we are calculating the normalized load impedance but in this problem the normalized load impedance and characteristic impedance is given we have to find out the actual load impedance okay so uh, from this formula is it all equal to is it all by is it not we needed load impedance so load impedance equal to it's a product of is it all into is it not okay so the is it all is 0.3 minus j 0.4 into 50 so we have to if we are calculating we will get 15 minus j 20 okay so 15 minus j 20 is the answer okay so these are all the some of the uh, questions from the smith chart okay and uh, what is the use of smith, smith chart what is mean by smith chart using smith chart uh, what are all the thing we can measure in transmission line and what is normalized load impedance so these are all the question we discussed in this thing okay so we will meet in the next video with uh, uh, the stub matching single stub matching and double stub matching okay so thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos uh, if you want to learn uh, the remaining uh, that is uh, the tlw mcq uh, digital signal processing mcq and uh, signal sense system mcq as well as the signals and system lecture videos are available in my channel as a separate playlist you can see okay so thank you we will meet in the next video